10.30 a.m. Sunday morning. I am heading out of Knoxville. Um, you know, I went out last night and I had some fun, but the more I go out to the clubs with the young people, the more I just kind of like despise it because I always see shit, just people act in ways that makes you completely lose faith in humanity. And yeah, I had some fun and I, I like the social aspect of being around people, but it gets to the point where, what's it worth, you know? I'm over here in Dandridge. I ended up making about 30 miles today. Didn't get a whole lot of sleep, but the weather was great and the wind was kind of in my favor. And 30 miles through the hills, you know, not just a flat 30 miles. But I'm over here at this uh, little nature area. I'm drying out my sleeping bag. It got a little bit moist last night from the dew. And it's about 4.30. Looks like some people have already kind of started trying to build like a little shelter here and whatnot. And they've kept it clean. There's no litter. It's off the hiking trail here. And I'm probably gonna camp in this location because sometimes the location just lends itself to you you know it's not far off the beaten path or it's not far off the path that i'm traveling you know and it's a decent location where i have a decent amount of privacy and flat ground for my tent it's not as common. It's not as easy as you think. It's, and it's not all skill that goes into finding these spots. Sometimes it's just the luck of the draw. Some places it's way easier to find a spot. Some places it's way harder. Sometimes I'm feeling way lazier. Sometimes I'm feeling a lot more proactive. So you never know. But I need a good night's sleep tonight because last night I did not sleep well because at that park that I was at, there was people there, probably teenagers, I have no idea, five o'clock in the morning, whistling, laughing across the lake or quarry. I could hear them and it was just kind of freaking me out. But yeah, I'm just, in, I'm just enjoying today, man. A sunny Sunday. What? I might be a little bit tired, but one night of bad sleep never killed anybody, and I mean, what's not to enjoy about a beautiful, sunny Sunday, late winter, about to be spring in a few days here in Tennessee. I'm here in Dandridge, Tennessee, where I spent night 19. A um, little funny story about last night. At least I thought it was funny. So there were these large birds overhead and they were, they must be nesting in the trees up there because they were there all night. Seems like they're fighting and making all sorts of noises and stuff. It was actually kind of cool. There was eagles, owl. It was cool camping underneath these large birds. And, and other birds as well, you know, uh, cranes and just all sorts of large birds. But I was in the woods. I was in a pretty remote location, all things considering. And all of a sudden I hear you know, it, it gets dark and then all of a sudden I hear something that sounded like a pig. And 
that instantly freaked me out. I, like my heart started racing. I was like, oh shit. I thought that it was a feral hog or possibly a pack of feral hogs. And the thing that scares me about that is I, I'm aware I'm in bear country, mountain lion country, but those predators aren't aggressive animals. They will defend their young and they will fight if they're cornered. And if they're sick or injured, a mountain lion may hunt a human. Very rare though. But from what my understanding, feral hogs are aggressive and they will attack you. At least that's, that's what I was of the mindset of. And so I hear this noise that sounds like a pig in the middle of the night, it's dark, and I get up, I grab my bear spray, I start shining my flashlight around, I get outside of my tent, and I'm like, oh my God, man, that's the last thing that I need. You know, I, I get it, I'm out in the animal's territory, but the feral hogs are invasive, I, I don't have any sympathy. I don't have any love for a feral hog like I would for a mountain lion or a bear. But long story short, I start hearing something walking towards me. Crushing the leaves. I, I freak out again. I get up and I haven't even, there's been nothing else that spooked me the entire trip, wildlife wise. I get up, put my shoes on, jump out of the tent, start shining my light around again, and I see glowing eyes. It's just a big old possum. And I just go back in my tent, lay back down. And pretty much I came to the conclusion that the chances of me being attacked by a feral hog or a pack of feral hogs. They're, it's a realistic concern. I'm in the south. There are feral hogs here. Possibly aggressive ones. But the chances are so small that I would probably go down in history if I died by a feral hog attack. <laughs> so I go to sleep and I wake up and in the morning, I hear the noise again. The sun is out, so it's not as scary. And it was actually one of the large birds making a noise that sounded exactly like a pig. But that's how night 19 went. I was a little bit spooked last night. I still slept really good because I was so tired, but man, it is definitely a trip out here. When you enter the Smoky Mountains, that's, you know, that's dominated by wildlife here in the Southeast. I had my concerns when I was out West and whatnot, but in the Southeast, this is where the predators are, where the wildlife really rules over in the woods you know so we're gonna be heading towards Newport I don't know how far I'll make it but I am coming up on the Appalachian Trail here so I will be intersecting the Appalachian Trail on Highway 25 somewhere around Antioch North Carolina and Hot Springs I think it goes right through Hot Springs I think the town is called Hot Springs. I'm not sure, or maybe there are hot springs there. If there are hot springs there, then I'm gonna take a dip in the hot springs, but be intersecting the Appalachian Trail either today or tomorrow. So, looking forward to good weather today and riding as usual.
so these guys just told me, I just saw these guys walking down to the tavern, you know, through hiker guys, and they just told me about this hostel up here. And I saw it on my way in. But it's just sometimes, after a day on the road, the last thing I want to do is have to deal with people. But... I guess I have nothing to lose by going up there and talking to him, seeing what the rate would be if I'm allowed to camp there, which he said I am, so we'll see. So an update on the past three nights. I ended up staying at that Laughing Heart Hostel, hanging out with a lot of the Appalachian Trail hikers and other travelers. Um, they allowed camping for a reasonable price. There was some rain, some weather, and it was a good rest overall. I camped in that yard for three nights, packed up this morning, and now I'm on my way I'm in the Appalachian Mountains now, and these are some mean ass hills. I got about 3,000 feet of climbing to do to get into Asheville. So that's what I'm going to be doing all day. I'm back on the road, had a little break, had some social interaction, and now it's time to get to work again. So basically when I got into town, uh, I was walking around and some guy told me there's a Grateful Dead show. I'm not a fan by any means, but he said there was a bunch of the dirty kids over in the lot, so I went over there. I saw everybody was putting their finger in there. I was wondering about it. And then I heard one guy telling his friends, he's like, dude, put your finger in the air and you can get a free ticket. And I was like, okay, well, fuck yeah. So I fucking put my finger in the air and lo and behold, after a little bit of time, a guy walked up to me, said he had an extra ticket. So, I got into the show for free. Um, what are the odds? Really? It was a great concert. So, I guess that's just a uh, luck of the draw, man. You know, that I came to Asheville today. So, I'm going to find a place to bed down here right now. Which uh, looks like we're looking at a church kind of outside the city. So we'll see how that works. I'm continuing to stealth camp. And I'm out. <laughs> 